And what's up, everybody? It's your boy Billy Mac. This is not really. I'm talking about the Cowboys, but this is just a. This is just a commentary. Let's talk about Trayvon Diggs. And it's not so much as a bad thing, but or a good thing. It's just like let's get our expectations in order for what I believe or who I believe Trayvon Diggs is going to be. Um. And that is he's going to be a he's going to be a turnover machine. But unlike Deion Sanders, I think he's going to get give up a lot of plays. Now, I say that I say that with one caveat. If those of you all remember last year, I don't know what the game plan was. I don't I don't know what he was asked to do. But if you remember last year, Trayvon, the Dallas Cowboys went up against the Washington Commanders. They were the football team last year. They're the Commanders now, which I thought was a horrible name. Um, but they went up against the Washington Commanders. And Trayvon Diggs took Terry McLaurin out the game. Took him out. He, he was, he was, I mean, they had to put an APB out for him. They could not find Terry McLaurin. I think he had two targets for zero yards, zero catches. Like, Trayvon Diggs shut Terry McLaurin down. Now, obviously, in the second game, Terry McLaurin was productive, but not productive. Like, I think, and this is off the top of my head, so I could be wrong. I think he had maybe eight targets for for two receptions, but it was like 80-something yards and a touchdown. And that's why we're having this talk right now. I think we need to manage our expectations on who Trayvon Diggs. I don't believe Trayvon Diggs is going to be a, quote-unquote, shut-down corner. Shut down corner. I think Trayvon is going to be more so a turnover magnet. Like, don't throw the ball over there. Which can lead to shut down status only if Trayvon manages his timing of when he's going to be that guy to attack the ball. Okay, so this is a short video. Just want everybody, I want Cowboy fans to manage their expectations. Be ready for Trayvon Diggs to be football pro football focus's worst corner in the league because he gives up so many yards and so many touchdowns, but he's going to have, what, 10, to 10, 12 interceptions this year. It's just, that's what I believe is going to happen. For all we know, and then Trayvon's still young, y'all. He's still growing as a corner. I think last year was his only his second year. So, so this is year number three. The game is going to slow down more. He's going to be more uh, receptive to what wide receivers do on the field and everything. So he's he's only going to get better. But just manage your expectations. It's your boy Billy Mack, and I'll holler at you next time. Hey.